Hey there guys, Raymond here, and today we're going to be talking about some E3 predictions. So get ready, this stuff's going to be hot, it's going to be spicy, and most of all, it's just my opinion, so it might just be flat out wrong. So let's be honest, there's only two ways EA can go about this. They can either A, acknowledge what they did with Battlefront 2 was a mess up, which they're most likely not going to go o with, and two is completely ignore that and just roll with the press conference as usual, which I think is more likely. That having been said, they're probably going to spend about 20 minutes on their sports games because that brings all the money with the ultimate team modes. Then they're going to spend maybe like 15 minutes on Battlefield 5 and then the rest is a throw up in the air. Maybe we'll see some need for speed, but I highly doubt it. Uh, the rest is kind of like titles we can't really guess. <laughs> Moving on to Microsoft, um, let's be honest, this is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to see a Forza game, which is going to be one of their exclusives, which they're going to talk about. Then we might see one, maybe two other exclusives, and um, maybe the HoloLens, although I'm not even sure if that's still a thing, and th that's pretty much what's going to happen. If you remember anything from the past E3s of Sony, it's just bam, trailer, bam, bam, bam. Just trailer after trailer after trailer of goodness, of gameplay, of content, of games that we want to play. That's it. With the exception of that one year where they had to apologize about the PlayStation Network being hacked, it usually follows this track. <laughs> Now, Nintendo's even more straightforward because here's what's going to happen. They're going to have a pretty standard press conference. There's going to be some Super Smash in there because they've teased it. And I, I want there to be Super Smash in there. So they have to have it. Also, they're probably just going to do a single announcement that's going to blow everybody's socks off. And it's going to make every other press conference look like amateur hour. <laughs> So if years past have told us anything, Bethesda is pretty much going to do this. They're going to announce some free content for the games that already exist for everyone, which is amazing. Then they're going to announce some paid content for those who want a little bit more, which is still pretty cool. Then they're going to follow that up by talking about their new Fallout 76 game, which was teased or leaked. I don't know which one it is. And then they're maybe going to talk about a single player narrative experience that they've been working on. But who knows what that could be. <laughs> So Ubisoft's going to be interesting. They're probably going to bring a celebrity out on stage, make him do some Just Dance stuff, and it's going to be really awkward because it's a bunch of gamers in the audience. That have been said, they're probably going to have an Assassin's Creed game. They're going to maybe talk about the crew too. If they do, it's just going to be for one trailer to remind people that the game is coming out. Or else, I only really expect some new entries in some of their main franchises, but maybe we'll see something new on the side. They do usually do a good job of showing something new every year. 